Now here's somebody special. The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Shows our devotion to the Absolute. These maggots see how strong we are with her guidance. Whole camp will be branded soon, and you should be too. You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. Maybe you don't need it. After all, you're special, ain't ya? Like me. She probes your mind, tangling your thoughts with hers. A familiar sensation. She too carries a power. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Your minds brush against one another, but are swiftly parted. Don't want to get intimate in front of the novices. Fair enough. Got some weird shadows in your head. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. A creature? There's definitely something rotten in there. Let me take a closer look. I ain't seen anything like this before. Hey, Ain't nothing wrong with me. You're the one who's sick in the head. No need to panic, though. With the Absolute's will, I can fix anything. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Don't want this lot interfering with true soul business. Oi! Priestess! We want the mark! Yeah! Ain't we good enough for the absolute? Oi, come here! I ain't waiting around. Ready to clear your head? Don't want a crowd of gorpers. Everybody else needs to leave. Smart. All you need to do is open yourself to the Absolute. And I'll do the rest. Psionic feelers creep across your mind, like a pickpocket's fingers seeking flaws in fabric. Sifting deeper, she sees the Mind Flayer holding a wriggling tadpole to your eye. And then the vision lurches, and you are looking through her eyes as a tadpole squirms into her skull. Help! We need to fish that thing out before it eats any important parts of your brain. Don't you worry. I've got everything I need to fix you. Might get a bit messy, though. It involves you putting your trust in the Absolute. Simple. You won't regret this. Being a true soul, you know the Absolute don't like to touch nothing unclean. So drink this. It'll purify ya. It's a liquid blessing. It'll cleanse you. And it tastes better than that rock gut at the party. Ugly mug on the other side. Wakey, wakey. 
Don't bother struggling. You ain't going nowhere. The Absolute wants to know all about that critter in your head. So start talking. Liar! We've both seen the monster that put it there, and I know what happens next. Stop trying to confuse me! You're a liar! Everything's clear since the Absolute chose me. You're the one that's broken! Do you even know who you are anymore? Maybe that's what the creature wants you to think. It's gonna start eating your flesh too, changing you. And eventually your skull will split and you'll cough up a mess of tentacles. Stop it! Why would I want to do that? I'm gonna keep you here so I can see every gory detail and hear every whimper and scream. You're gonna be my new pet. A ferocious squiddy. All for myself. You test the weight of the chains, looking for weak points. Open your papers, freak. It's time. You should be sprouting tentacles by now. But you're still the same kind of ugly you always was. Disappointing not to have my own squiddy. But your giblets will make for a tasty supper. I may have left that a little late. No lasting damage, I hope. Carilla Heartflame. At your service. You made quite an impression on my master. He sends his regards. The Honorable Raphael. He's terribly excited about you and your con- At this point, you're more interesting alive than dead. So here I am, your savior in times of need. Be a little more careful. That skin's valuable, and we won't always be watching. There you are. Glad you're all right. What happened in there? Really? Who? Ugh. So now the rat is sending out cockroaches. Joy. Glad you're in one piece, but I doubt this little favor will come without a price. Let's get rid of this tadpole. Cambion might lose interest when we're a little less, well, interesting. There are enough absolutists in this place to fill a reserve trench. One of them must have something interesting to say, right? Let's find out. Drow wants to know exactly where those adventurers came from. What are they doing? Hiding in trees? We'll smoke them out, no problem. Heading to see our new pet. It didn't seem easy, I'll give it that. Watch a step down by the pens. Orgy's been getting fat on your kind lately. I'll tell you, the scry and I were... Seen this mess? 
flaming fist thuggo took a chunk out me arm last raid out. Fiercest thing about them was the wailing, till we put an end to it. Ain't none can stand against us now. Not with the absolute in our corner. Hands off. This one's for the pups. You like to see the bear? Just follow the noise. Wargs have been going crazy for it. Just hope these scraps will satisfy the bunch when they're in this state. They can choose. Ever tried cutting up an elf? All skin and bones, the rangy gets. My arm's gonna be sore tomorrow. Steal something, or, or at the bollocks, will ya? I'm itching to throw someone in the brick. It'll be fun, I promise. See? It squealed! <laughs> it's it again! Keep your hands steady, three. <laughs> Make it squeal again. It's staying right here. The beasts came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wolves. But first, three more stones. Make it nice and bloody. Yeah! Hit his head! I want to hear more noises. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Yes, but just Halson will suffice. Unbecoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. Parasites in your head. You mean you have one of them? <sighs> Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Hmm. That looks very alien. As alien as the Mind Flayers. They do not belong on this world. You weren't speaking lightly when you said you needed help. Let me tell you what I know. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for a way to remove the tadpoles, but I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. No, this is different, altered. The magic used is beyond me. It's either not of this world, or so ancient as to be lost to even nature's memory. 
I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I've no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. Chaos is welcome in doses. It helps keep balance. But this is too much. This is... unnatural. Help me kill the leaders of this horde. Save my grove. Then I will help you. Three deaths could win us peace. The Drowm in Thara, the Hobgoblin Draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. There is no safety, not while this rot festers. Once it is cut out, once the grove is secure, then I shall leave. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. May Sylvanus guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here.